Hi guys, this is Avinash Sharma and in this session, we will discuss bookmarks in Power BI desktop. For the bookmark, when you design the report and later on then you edit the reports. And for each editing, you want to record the state of the report. Then you can use the bookmark because the bookmark maintain the current state of the reports whenever you change or when, whenever you edit the reports. As you can see in the list, following are the properties. When you change the bookmark, maintain that property. Say current state of the report page, applied filters means like you apply filter, slicer including slicer, visual selection state such as the cross highlight filters, shorting order, drill location, visibility of an object like a show and hide and finally a spotlight. So these are the property which are maintained or which are recorded by the bookmark. Now we check how to create the bookmarks. So we have data and in this data we have the segment, country, product, units sold, manufacturing price and sales price and other columns. So from this data we have created the two visuals column chart and the pie charts. In both chart we have the data for the country and the profit. Now this is the like page and in this page we have two visual. Suppose we make the some changes in this report or in this visual and after some time we want to check what change we made step by step. So those are called the current state of the reports or visual. So first of all the current state is we have two visual and both visual are the visible. For this state we can create a bookmark because the bookmarks maintain or store the properties of the current state of the visuals or report. So first of all how to create the bookmark. Bookmark then we have the add and first bookmark so by default the name is the bookmark one. We can rename this one say rename and all visuals. This is our first bookmark. If we click this bookmark, so no change, no reflection. It means this is already in this state. Now we hide one visual from this report and we go to selection and second one, then we say hide. So this is the another state of this reports. In this state, one visual is hidden and another visual is visible. So we can record this state by creating the bookmark. So we create the bookmark, add, then rename and say hide visual. This is our second bookmark which maintain the current state of reports or page. If we click the first one all visual then both visuals are visible. If we click the second one so the one visual is hidden or not visible. Now we take a slicer say slicer and in this slicer we take the country. So as we checked in the list bookmark also record the history of the data. So we have a slicer and we have now right now no country is selected it means the report is for all countries. If I select the say Canada so both visual display the changes because this slicer is a page label filter. Now so this is the another state of this report. We can also record this state. So we create another bookmark say add and we rename it this say Canada country. Now if we check the France again the data change create another bookmark and say France country. 
Now, if we check the multiple country, say France and Germany, then now, so we have the now data for the two country and we create the bookmark for this one, this is state. France and Germany. Now we now we have recorded the different state of reports. Now we want to check each and every state. So we can click the bookmark. So first all visuals, then second hide one visual, and third one only Canada country. Also, you can check the selection. France. So France is checked and France and Germany, multiple country. So both country are selected. Now, suppose we go to this one and we create the another state and we say this visual and say spotlight. Spotlight means you are highlighting some particular visual and in that case other visuals becomes a faded. So, this is also a state, we can record this one and add the name, say Spotlight. Now, so we, now we have different type of the bookmarks for the different state. So, we can check one by one, all visuals, hide visual, Canada country only, France country, and finally France and Germany two country and the last one is spotlight so this is how you can create the bookmark for maintaining the current state of the change of the reports how to arrange or how to change the order of the bookmarks simply you can drag and drop select the bookmark say all visual and then drag when you select this one so you can see underline between that selected bookmark. Now drag and drop. So all visuals, we have the last one. Now hide visual, say drag and drop. This is a second last. So this way you can rearrange your bookmarks. Now how to get the slides show from the bookmarks? For that purpose, just click the view. And once you click the view, in the bottom, we have a bar. And in this bar, we have the bookmark 1 of 6, the total number of bookmarks and the center, we have the name of the bookmark which is currently selected. Then we have the navigation arrow left and right. So click this one, second, then next, then next, this next and say previous, previous, previous. So this is how you can create the slide show from the bookmarks. And for exit, just press the exit. Now, how to create the bookmarks button? So, insert and then button. So, we have a bookmarks. Take the first one. Another one. Then, one more. Button and bookmark. So, we have three buttons and now we format and change the title of this button. So, first one, general and title on, then say all visuals. Then, font name say 18 and bold, then background say this one. Now effects say background and center. So this is our bookmark button. But if you hover on this button, so we can see a message control click. If you control click then no nothing will happen because we have to decide or we have to map the action. We have to map the which bookmark has to be executed for this button. So, all visuals already selected, then action, 
in action bookmark so we can see the list of the bookmarks which already we created now we can select which action or which bookmark has to be executed on the click of this button so we take all visual so this is done now now we take the second one and format this one say hide visual and now action for this hide visual will take hide visual bookmark third one title say canada country bold now center and action select the canada country bookmark so this is done now our buttons are ready with the action now if you click the all visual control click so it's already in all visual state now we click hide visual so the second bookmark and now we select the canada country now so we have the data only for the canada country so this is how you can create the buttons with the bookmarks how to create the bookmark with data and the without data as we discussed like when you create the bookmark so bookmark also record the slicers change okay now so already we are using the slicer and suppose france if i change canada then you can see so on the change of the bookmark so data slicer selection is also changing and the visual data is also changing suppose on the selection of the bookmark you do not want change in any data say france country then select this one and data it is included data display current page all visuals by default when you create a uh, bookmark then these property are included suppose you don't want to include the data say uncheck this one now we try canada country so canada selected and we have the data for the canada but if we go to the france country and select this bookmark there is no change because this bookmark is not recording the history of the data because data is not included you can see we have unchecked this one so this is how you can like include or disclose the say display current page all visuals so guys this was all about the how to create the bookmarks in the power bi desktop thanks for watching the video